guys well welcome back to my channel if you're new please like comment and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos today i'm gonna be re illustrating my easter nails that i showed on instagram before and so i've already picked out my nails and i filed them down and then i also did put a base coat on top of them that way we can try to get that out the way so, I'm just going to pull up the picture so I can make sure I have the same nodes in the same order. Let's see here. Just give me one moment as I pull this up. So, these are the nails that I'm going to be we illustrating I'm ready to put both the pinky gem ombre blue pink uh ready and then let's go ahead and get started so I really do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making these um, I do have more parts on nail designs coming out. If you do have any designs that you particularly want to see or want me to create, definitely comment down below so I can definitely get working on those. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply a thin layer here. And I'm just going to apply a thin layer of each color on the nails except for the ombre. And I do apologize for the noise in the background. I do have company playing music and also playing pool, so I don't have a door on this nail. That's one thing I wish I had. So hopefully you two don't say anything about my videos because they have music playing in the background. And so I'll go ahead and go over the colors that I'm using um, in a minute. And I'll also list the colors down below as well. And so what I'll do is I'll put a thin layer of the white. Um, that way you can try to pop out the ombre of the orange and the yellow. And the nails that I am using, they are pretty durable. Um, they're not very flimsy. They're not easily bendable. That's why I like this brand. Um, I did get these off of Amazon. And so one thing that I am going to do different, the nail that has the rhinestones, I'm actually going to do um, a coat of a glow in the dark and then add the rhinestones on top of it. That way, that nail can have some kind of glam to it as well. And I just got this one from Sally's. And I'm just applying a thin coat on here. All right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and let those dry. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with the second coat.
Thank you to Lemon Critter Bats. Happy hour. If I order it through that app, we get happy hour. And if you heard the whole lady stating moving motion detector, we call her Miss Lily because she's titled on everybody. So we joke on and said that the feds are watching us, but we're not doing nothing wrong for them to be watching us. So I'm not worried. So I'm playing a second card here. So I'm just gonna play a third card for the pink. Um, that one seems more sheer than the other ones like it's not very much as opaque so we're just gonna apply another coat there I saw a little dividend in there, so I just wanted to fix that. Okay. So I just let that dry for a little bit. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my little crystals chest piece i guess you can say and i'm gonna attach this white one on there so i can do the ombre or the gradient however you want to call it And as you can see, I already used this piece, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. That way we can try to save, see, still new. We're just saving money by using the same sponge. Look at that, what sponge is that can use? And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and this, and I did the orange or the coral color at the bottom. And this one I'm just going to put it in the pan. So this one I'm going to go ahead and put it under the pan while I do the ombre now.
and this fan is battery operated and it comes with a USB I got it from Walmart and so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a heavy amount on here it shows that it you know as you can see it kind of seeks into it but I promise you it is enough to get that effect and then I'll go ahead and open up the yellow one and like I said it I'll go ahead and list the colors that I'm using down in the description below There goes Lily. Alright. And then I'm just going to do my first attempt. I normally just kind of push it on there and then just dab it through. See? I'm like that. And then I'm going to do another coat. You need to do it as many coats as you want until your heart desires and you get that desired look. And normally around the second time, I kind of just pat it on. That way you kind of get that gradient effect. Look how pretty it is. And to me, that's good, so... Two coats got me this gradient effect. And the sponges I'd love to use is the one from Family Dollar. Um, <coughs> excuse me. They don't soak in a lot of your polish like the other ones do from like Dollar Tree or things like that. So I'm just gonna put that there as that dries. And then I'm gonna throw this one away. So that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and close these up and I'm gonna let this one dry for a little bit. I just speed up this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my Onyx Professional Nail Dryer No More Smearing Spray. I just Normally what I'll do is I'll spray it and then I'll let it sit for a little bit and then I'll apply the instant dry it as well. So I'm just going to let this dry here. I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply another coat of the glow in the dark. That way we can definitely make it more prominent in the dark. The only thing I don't like about this is the top. It's like this is too big where I can't see if I'm getting all the angles or not. So let's just hope that I am. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that. Power off. 
Alrighty, so I do apologize. I did get a phone call. Um, I left off with saying that I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. Since it is glow in the dark, I'm going to try to see if I can put it in the UV light. Which is right here. And let it cook for like maybe 15 seconds, 30 seconds. And that way, hopefully, when we turn off the light, quote unquote, it will glow. So let's go ahead and pop that in the oven for 15 seconds. And I only have a 30 second and a 60 second on this lamp. So I'm just going to wait until it gets down to 20. And then I'm going to turn it off. And you can already see that it is glowing. I wish I can show y'all, but I don't want to hurt your eyes. Um, let me see if I can show y'all. Because I find that exciting. Okay, so let me turn it back on. And so it's cooking. But as you can see, you can start seeing some of the little... Um, the green part where it glows. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. See? Look at that. And then it just went away. So I hope, if y'all were paying attention, I hope y'all saw that. Um, so now, I'm going to put y'all back on the stand. <laughs> Sorry. Alrighty. So, the nails, uh, the gradient nails should already be done drying, hopefully. Okay, good. It does feel dry. So, I'm actually done with this nail. Um, yeah, I think I'm done with this nail. I was going to think about putting... The glow in the dark part right here. That way this part glows too, but I don't know. I think I'm done with it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. And I'm also going to go ahead and apply it to all nails. Because they do seem like they're already dry. And then the glow in the dark obviously should be dry already. And I'm just applying a thin coat here. And then making sure to cut my free edge. And I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the nails. So then we're going to have a a try it video in regards to this insta dry because it seems like when I sometimes when I use it on regular nail polish after like I'll leave it out to dry and air dry and so, things like that since we know that the UV light does not cure regular nail polish all the way um, anyways, so I got sidetracked. So, I think I'm going to do like a review video in regards to this one because sometimes I feel like when I leave it sitting out for like about a couple hours and I come back to it and it's like the nail polish is all wrinkled and I did use thin layers so I don't understand why it would be wrinkled. So... Why not just test the waters together and see what we get? And 
cap the fridge. Okay, the fridge here too. So I decided I don't think I'm gonna put the top coat on here. I don't know for sure if I do put the top coat on if it's gonna take away from the glow part of it when it glows in the dark. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I'm just gonna have these dry. And I'm going to actually take this out because this is already dry. And I'm going to get me a new chest piece. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the glow in the dark one off. All right. Of course, you don't want to bend it that tight with you. Okay. And so I'm just going to let those finish drying. And then I'm gonna apply this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add it back onto the peg and have those drop. Alright, so now I have my dotting tool. I have my Mia Secret Nail Gel, gel Resin. Act oh, sorry, that's the Gel Resin Activator. And then this is the Mia Secret Gel Resin. And so, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some stones. Let's see. I got this off of Amazon. Um, they have big stones all the way down to the small stones. I will tell you right now, the small stones are actually harder to pick up. I have not mastered that yet. So I think I'm just going to stick with doing the big stones right now. Um, let's see. And I do like how they're individually capped, so you don't have to worry about all of them being open and it fall out. Let me try to... So this is what one of the sounds look like. I think this is the one I'm going to use. I need to give me one of those little trays so I can just automatically dump some of the rhinestones out and pick them up from there. And then that should be enough. Yep. And I think I just made a mess by jumping some of them out. Just bear with me one moment. Okay. And then we're going to do some of these. So pretty much I just use these two right here. So I use this one. And then I use this one. I don't know the size. I do apologize. So the picture I had before was a cross. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to imitate that, but I think I might want to change the design a little bit. So you wanna go ahead and stop from the cuticle area and work your way up. Okay. 
And then I do see where it's like not all the way. Okay. And let's start working. And as you can see, I have my little pile here. So let's go ahead. And you just move it where you want it to go. And then the activator is what sticks it into place. Yeah, I think I changed my mind. I don't want to do the class. I'm going to go ahead and just do different patterns. Pick up. There we go. Oh, and last Out to ten? Oh, okay. So I did the first layer, so now we're just going to go ahead and go through with the second layer. I'm going to put some right here. the small ones And then I'm going to go in with this, some small ones. Mm, I don't know where I fell. So I'm going to get some more. Okay, these keep falling, and I don't know where they're falling. So, 
some of these wind tunnels are like up together. So it's hard to get some. See that this one these are pushed together. I don't even think I have glue right there, but we'll make it work. And then I'm just going to do different sizes. Do not want to sit. I kind of want to try doing like the wax pencils. I might need to use my wax pencil that I got in one of my sets because this one does not want to pick up and hold for nothing. See, these don't want to hold for nothing. You know, they're trying to be great. If I did pick it up. Oh. Okay, well, maybe not that idea. Okay, so these really don't want to work for me right now. Any other day you would just fine. Let's just stick these on. Let's just stick these on here. Sticks. No, it's sticking to my finger. Okay. Oh my. Come on, be great with me. Let's be great together. Yay! He wants to be great. Ah! Come on, let's be great. See, I knew you wanted to be great. Let's be great together. What do we think about that song? Let's see. Mm. I feel like it could be used a little more. One stone here. And here. My tongue is already sticking to my thing. 
Okay, so you want to just make sure that it's not hanging off of the nail, but I think this looks good. Not only does it look good, I'm done fighting with these rhinestones. So I'm going to go ahead and take the gel activator, and I'm just going to spray it twice, and stick it in here, the oven for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put these rhinestones back in the proper places, if I remember. Um, oh, that one's already set. I'm not even gonna bother with that one. See, we had one casualty. Just to didn't want to move. It popped off and it is now stuck there. Alrighty. So these are dry. This is dry. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take this off, put it on here, alright and there you go, this is my Easter set number one. I decided that I'm going to go ahead and do three sets so stay tuned um to my videos as well as on my instagram and snapchat as well as facebook you will get to see those sneak peeks there and let's go ahead and test to see if it is glow in the dark Alrighty, are y'all ready to test this out and let's see how much of a glow it has so keep in mind i did use this glow in the dark nail polish from sally beauties and let's go ahead and turn off the lights in three, two, one, and go. So, I see the glow. Do y'all see that glow? But I don't see the glow as much as I do in the actual nail polish. But the glow is there. It is fading a little bit, but it's there. So let's go ahead and turn back on the light. Maybe we need to add in another layer of glow. Or maybe we need to put in the lamp some more. So let me go ahead and put in the lamp. Where's my little crystal ball? And I'm going to put in the lamp for 30 seconds. And let's see what happens. And in the oven we go. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Hopefully, we can get some glow going. I don't know what this is. Glow, glow, glow. I want to see that glow like it's a highlighter. Five, four, three two one ding the oven is done Alrighty, let's try testing it out now lights off in three two one and there Ooh, so that glow is there so maybe over time with the light hitting it 
it will stay glowed but I can still see that it is fading away a little bit so we're going to turn back on the light maybe I should add in another layer of glow maybe let's see if that might work so I'm going to go ahead and add in another layer here I want it to glow, baby. Glow, glow, glow. Okay. And then I'm going to let that bake in the oven for 30 seconds fully. And now we're taking it out of the oven. And let's try again. In three, two, one. Lights off. Okay, so that one actually gives us a better glow. I'm digging it. I like it. So now, let's turn on this light. And, ooh. Let's turn back on this light. Sorry, my light. It touch screen. And we're going to put it with the other nails. Hello. So this is what this set looks like. And I think it looks pretty dope. Can't wait to put this on. And so here's a video of my Easter egg or my Easter design number one. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please stay tuned to my next video. Check you out later. Social media sites, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay nailed up, nail squad, and see you in the next video.